hey guys how are you guys doing i hope you're great welcome back to our youtube channel if this is your first time please make sure you subscribe and you hit the like button because you know youtube likes it when you guys hit the like button i don't want to waste your time i'm just outside one of our rental units um and i thought i should take this short nice video to talk to you about how to reinvest your investment income back into the business so back into the real estate rooms that you have back into the uh, the rental units that you've built back into basically the business the backroom industry my favorite so how do you reinvest back into the business that's what i'm going to be discussing with you today um so let's get right into it right um the first thing that you you need to do firstly to give you context of why i thought i should share this video is because as i'm here um looking into our rental units and i'm looking at um what we've been able to do over the short space of time in particular in these rental units is that we've been able to put quite a number of improvement right we've put in um a, a pavement we've put in tiles um long lasting tiles uh we've put in ceiling we've put in some 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 some, some features into the rental units that makes it you know uh, pop in a way um so the discussion that i'm going to be having with you today is how to reinvest back into your rental units basically so the first thing you need to be focusing on right um is to improve the living conditions so the business we are in we are in the business of uh, providing uh, affordable rental for low-income earners living in the townships right but you don't want to make your living um, uh, the, the, the living conditions sub standard right you you also want to give people the best um, for less right so even though we are focusing our 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 business model is focusing on giving rental um uh, affordable rental for low income earners but we also don't want to uh, be mediocre right we also don't want to be giving people something that we ourselves wouldn't live in so that's why you need to be improving on the um, living conditions of the people how do you improve on that right so what you're going to be doing there is you're gonna need to put um some top quality tiles on the floor put top quality tiles on the floor uh make sure that the people when they come to it they see the tiles they're like wow so you can go to any shop that sells tiles look for one of the best tiles you can find you're also gonna need to put in a ceiling a ceiling is very important uh in rental units um it it just makes the the the, the whole uh, rental unit to look quite amazing right and um you need to also look into putting um building uh, units like a building kitchen um putting in like a building wardrobe um you know a counter here and there just to make sure that you give people enough for the space that they are renting right so you give them more features give them um enough to make sure that they're able to even if they come from wherever they come from and they don't have the money to buy a, a cupboard to buy a wardrobe they don't have um, money to buy you know um, uh, furniture but they find furniture already in the rental units that you can then um, ensure that you 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 assist the people who need it the most you know um, so if you have enough space as time goes on you can look into putting a shower uh, into the rental unit you can also look into putting a toilet if the space is enough uh, in that space so another thing you can look into in terms of uh, improving the living conditions for people you can look into um, installing a I don't know a Wi-Fi router um, for the tenants to connect to so that as we move into the fourth industrial revolution people have access to the internet right and you're also going to be looking into having fiber if your community uh, has, has 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 fiber uh, access you need to get that for your tenants to be able to, to 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 plug in and be connected so those are the things you can look into to ensure that uh, people are um, you know they, they 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 get the services that um you can offer with the space that you have you can look into also ensuring that the safety in that yard is 
top notch so make sure the gate is top notch make sure that you know the buckler guards are installed and everything is 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 is, is there so that people are feeling safe so like i said i'm just outside one of our rental units and i can actually take you there to just see um our rental units and see we 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 it's two of them so i'm just gonna be sharing you one of it all right so um so this is this is one of our rental units right um this is where um uh, we, we don't have a tenant as yet so you can see i'm not sure if you can see the space but let's see if you can so we've got the ceiling there and we've got um like tiles some amazing tiles here um oh there's some stuff to gym there so you can look into that so if if this is a four by four size um so it's quite big enough you can have building units um, that you can put around here can put building uh, units, a uh, build, building um, kitchen. You can also put in a building wardrobe anyway, anywhere here basically, um, you can put that. Um, so you can basically improve one rental unit and make it pop, right? You can make it look amazing. You need to be looking into that. Why is it important to reinvest into the, 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 the business? So I'm sure most of you have already read um, Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you haven't, please go and make sure that you check it out. Um, now, the reason you need to be doing um, the reinvesting into the business is that you are now ensuring that um, you look into your income, your income uh, statement, right? So into your income statement, there's going to be the income and there's going to be the, the, the uh, expenses. And then in the balance sheet, it's going to be the um, um, assets and the liabilities. So rich people, according to the Rich Dead Poor Dead book, is that the rich people invest in assets. And then the assets generate enough income to cover the expenses and then the leftover of the amount spent on the um, the expenses you reinvest that amount into acquiring more assets so if you don't have enough to acquire another property for instance what you can then do is to improve the current uh, assets that you have by improving living conditions so that people are able to um, you can then up the price to just raise the price a little bit because of the facilities and the, 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 the features you will now have added after you've added those uh, uh, facilities then you can be able to raise the price and that is a way of reinvesting into the business so you can make more money as, as time goes on but what we need to be focusing on guys is to ensure that we make living conditions favorable for people so the video here i just wanted to share with you quite quickly about what you can do to reinvest back into the business when it comes to the backroom industry in the township there is more that you can do out there and um, i'm sure you can share on the comment section in terms of what do you think is is, is, can be done or how is it important to reinvest back into the business when it comes to real estate. Please hit the subscribe button so that you can get more videos. We are aiming to uh, continuously share and shoot a favorable uh, content that you will love. So please uh, subscribe to the channel and be part of this community. For now guys, thank you very much. Cheers.